everyone, this is Kendall with Exit Realty Mountain View and Park Bench. Today, I am here with Jessica Thompson at the Electric Way. Jessica, tell me a little bit about your role here. Yeah, so I am one of the owners. I also am the Chief Marketing Officer at the Electric Way. Okay. Uh, so I own the business actually with my family, with my sister, she's the COO, my brother-in-law is the Master Electrician, founder, so we like to, you know, mix family and business, and so far it's worked well for us. <laughs> and and how long have you, uh, has this, have you guys been here? So uh, David, the Master Electrician, my brother-in-law, founded the Electric Way back in 2013. He was running it out of his home with his personal vehicle. Wow. Uh, he oh. did that, yeah, for a few years, and then um, more family got involved, including myself. We got an office, we got a website. It wow. uh, just became more legitimate, and that was around uh, 2017 that I got involved. Okay. okay, Jessica, so do you guys have a brick and mortar, and if so, what's the address? Yes, we do. So we're located approximately Fillmore in Nevada at 3431 North Prospect Street. Yeah, we, we don't get a lot of foot traffic in here, but it's a great place to sort of be centralized, have our electricians come yeah. get their materials, have a place to put their tools, come get the vans to be able to go to everybody's homes that's and awesome. do their work. Yeah, that's awesome. So you did say you have a website. Yes. So if you were going to request service, how would someone get a hold of the electric way? Would they give you a call? Would they request it online? What's the process yeah. for you guys? We try to make it as easy as possible. So we have a lot of different options. Okay. On our website, all of our contact information is there. It's theelectricway.com. You can call us, you can email us, you can text us. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so okay. again, try to make it as easy as possible. You can DM us on Facebook or Instagram. Okay. Um, again, any way you want to reach out, we are happy to help you with whatever you need. Awesome. So do you do commercial? Do you do residential? Kind of what is your niche? Yeah, so I would say about 90% of what we do is residential in people's homes. Okay. Uh, the commercial work we do is sort of in office buildings, uh, maintenance type work retrofitting uh, lights in buildings but most of it is in people's homes whether that's panel upgrades putting in electric vehicle chargers when they just got a new electric vehicle oh that's awesome yeah okay so um, I do know that you said you and your sisters and your family own it mm -hmm. so female owned which yeah. is fantastic and you are a small business so is there or are there any female electricians not here right now, but we're always looking. If you are a female electrician and you want to work for a woman-owned electrical company, we welcome you to come talk to us. Okay. Um, that's definitely a goal of ours is to have uh, more women on our team. Okay. Um, but as of right now, the only women are me you and guys. Your sister, yeah, <laughs> okay. who, are, who are running things. Yeah. Okay. So um, are you looking? I mean, so as far as this, this trade is concerned, mm -hmm. is there a need for electricians or are you guys overloaded with electricians? So I feel like there's always a need. We have a steady stream of business and repeating customers okay. where if we come across somebody who is skilled, who is a good fit for our team culturally, because we do things a little bit different, we really value you know honesty and quality. And um, family. And family, and yes, family. of course, <laughs> yes. So if there is ever a person that seems like a really great fit, we are always open to hiring. Um, but we're also really protective of our team. So okay. we're not going to just hire any person who has an electrical license if they're not a good fit for who we are. Oh, I love that. I think that's that's a great mantra, yeah. for lack of a better term. So you guys are small business, as we said before. Is there any advice that you could give the viewers out there for anyone maybe looking to start their business or even just get into electricity? to become an electrician? Is mm -hmm. that the right kind of wording? <laughs> yeah, so um, to become an electrician, you usually start as an apprentice. And in order to get your license, you have to go to school and have a certain number of hours. <laughs> so do you do apprenticeships here? We do. Right now, we don't currently have an open for apprentices, but um, we have in the past, we have a couple of apprentices right now. We have some of our electricians who started with us when they had no experience, went through school, got their license, and now they're on their own. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so that's our favorite type of person to hire, actually, is to see them from the very beginning all the way through school. We pay for their license uh, and wow. help them with tuition and books to get through that process, and then, How you know, they're able to give back. How long is that process generally, does it take? It depends on the type of license they get. So there's a residential wireman license and a journeyman's wireman's okay. license. Um, the residential is usually about two to three years, 
journeyman's is about four to five okay. um, with schooling and the number of hours that they would need. Awesome. So you're, you are looking for electrician, mm-hmm. like registered electri- or licensed electricians, mm-hmm. um, and there aren't any spots, but as far as starting your own business, yeah. what would be your advice to viewers out there that maybe want to start their, their own business, small mm-hmm. business? Yeah, I would say that there's always room, I think, in our community for really great, honest yes. businesses. So if you have, are somebody who just has a great value system and you want to be able to give back to your community with what you love to do, I would say go for it and talk to other people who have done it yes. to get advice on uh, what you need to do to start up. Uh, but more than anything, just kind of have the confidence to take the leap and do what you love to do. Yeah, that's amazing. And I, I love I love your message. I just think that's phenomenal. So what do you love? I think you just touched on it, mm-hmm. but what do you love about being a small business in Colorado Springs? Uh, I think it's that, being able to give back to our community, being able to make our mark, uh, which is so much more than electrical. We really think of it as helping our neighbors. Um, and our specialty, obviously, is electrical, but we really feel like we want to leave every home better than when we came in. Amazing. Awesome. So uh, here's the, the burning question. Okay. <laughs> are you guys on social media? We are. Oh, um, yes, we, we like to have fun with social media. So we do a lot of stuff on Instagram and Facebook, but we also have a sort of secret TikTok account <laughs> <laughs> where we do um, just some kind of more fun stuff. We've had some videos that have gone viral because other electricians love to give their two cents, and we <laughs> actually love that. We love people to kind of um, tell us the way that they would do it and the way that maybe they wouldn't agree with the way we do things, uh, but it's fun. It's yeah, a yeah, fun yeah. little banter um, that you'll see in the comments on TikTok, and then uh, Instagram is more geared toward you know our community and our specific services, which is also fun. So if they were looking for you, how would we find you on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok? Yeah, so um, <laughs> Facebook and Instagram is at The Electric Way, and TikTok is at The Friendly Neighborhood Electrician. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you, and we all appreciate you being a small business in our community. And with that, that's it. It's a wrap. Thanks so much, Jessica. Thanks, Kendall. All right. It's a wrap. Mm-hmm.